Hello everyone, I'm Valentin Parcourt and this is another awesome invasion with Allen 96 CT and his three awesome over level golden bro friends. So right off the bat, I'm getting into the invasion, I see two golden bro over level the host and one Fatum is on his way. What do I do? Do I go into it and try to win all by myself against the three of them? No, I pull back, peel out my millwood bow and I shoot them from afar. The great bow is a great tool for invader. Um, I don't think it has been recognized a lot. It's really Saint Raya to popularize it. No, it's not good in a dual setting, but it's going to, this, this is the reason why I want this invasion. What is good with the great bow? The great bow allows you to make good damage. We're talking about like 200, 300 HP damage from afar. So they decide to get off their little hideout and I hear the sage popping out behind me and I'm thinking oh yes they just entered the Grand Archives so they are not gonna rush to the boss they need to go through the whole level so I have the four of them just for me. Say just die I'm leaving I'm taking some time you need to go from choke point to chunk home. You see our friend Devil Christian He's waving, he's being really nice, but he's not gonna stay nice really long. He's gonna turn into a devil and he's gonna forget his Christian side really soon. Okay, so they come here. This place, not a very good choke point. You have a few uh, sorcerers over there. They're not really bringing the fucking thunder, but they are, I mean, they do a few damage. So I do a few damage, I get out go to the next choke point but I don't just leave I throw a few bombs why do I throw bombs to make them know they are not safe they can take damage and I want to milk them I want to milk them slowly like a cow with big fat tits so I'm I see they are starting to come for me I'm not gonna try to fight them here if I get caught into the blender I'm gonna get wrecked especially with those big big weapon I don't want to deal with them. This mage, as every other level mage, is just gonna spam Crystal Soul Spear. So every time he's pulling out a spell, I don't really have to guess the timing. I know it's gonna be a big spell. This guy right here is actually a very good choker. Uh, he's gonna block the passage. You're gonna have, you're gonna be able to pull to to get a few hits in and it's time to move. Don't stay here fighting them. I've died many times in this little area uh, with the Sith hand to die, but here, those stairs, oh my god, they are the stairs of hell. You have the troll coming out, you have the, the sorcerer blasting, there's another sorcerer on the other side blasting, I'm throwing bombs, I mean, it's a fucking mess. I could have ended it right here. You see the host is stuck, but no, I want to keep him. I want to play with him. I want him to be my bitch. So I'm not gonna kill him, not now. Everyone has to die before he gets to die. Right here, I'm getting hit by the crystal soul spear and I'm like, fuck, watch out for this little corner here. You will die here, okay? Watch out where you're going. This choke point right here, same as the stairs earlier, you can throw your bombs, you can get some real damage in and watch out for people trying to plunge attack you all the way here. There, once everybody's dead, it's time to leave. Don't stand here, you're not gonna be able to hold them up. So you need to leave. I, here I'm leaving and I'm mashing square in order, not square, um, a circle in order to leave. And I have a friend, but you see my friend is making the mistake. He's going on the right. Maybe he thought I was the host. That's why he went on the right and he's just gonna be blandered away and die. But spoiler alert, we're going to see him very soon and not <laughs> it's not it's gonna come three times in this invasion it's just gonna keep dying and keep coming back okay the sage is in in this staircase same as earlier you don't you cannot really play with him especially when you're against four guy it's better to just leave and wait for them up the stairs right here pull out the great bow hit a few arrow, arrows but I don't stay too long, I don't stay too long, I need to leave. This area right here, similar, not a great choke point, It's unless it gets really chaotic and they start to go into the library and the safe hand, you can get a few damage, but I mean, it's it, you, just, you might as well just leave. Those stairs right here, you can get them, get a few hits in, go out, but 
you're not gonna do much right there. Oh, hopefully these guys, they'll give me a, a chase. They are, they are confident, you know, there's four of them, they know they're uh, higher level, they have all the spells, all the big weapons, etc. So they don't give a shit, they will chase me into the depth of the world. Here a good roll catch, that makes me think that this player is not so bad as he, as he is. Once you jump, press, press um, circle, mash circle, and our good friend Torco Scarab just came back. I mean, come on, dude. Oh, actually, he came four times. No, yeah, that's the second time. Then he's gonna come another time. Um, I have this guy by myself. I did my homework. Project Goof Backstab. Thank you, sir, from Australia. Peace out to the kangaroo, the spiders. All right. My friend here, he's, I don't know, he's too excited. He just, he's too in a hurry, man. He wants to... He wants to get it right now, but you need to take your time, bro. You, it's not a sprint. It's a, it's a long run we're gonna have with those. We, we, we're gonna play with them the whole night. So take your time, okay? Chill out, bro. They come and they start to play the, oh, we're just gonna stay here game. My friend, really smart, he went up the stairs and he's going to plunge attack them right off the bat. I take off the bow, starting to blast them. My friend is plunging attack. Boom! Wait. Boom! Wait. Boom! Wow, well, okay, there we go. Boom! <laughs> and, um, but you see our good friend Devil Christian who was waving at us? Now he's not waving at all, he's throwing his poo poo on us. I mean, come on, dude. How, how did this happen? You were such a good Samaritan. Again, the great boat. Look at that. 200 here, 200 there. They are getting little by little fucked. My friend here almost gets killed. But instead of going back and healing, he's throwing bombs at them. I mean, come on, dude, take your time, come back, heal, and then you get into the battle. Our friend Gorgol decides to join the fray, and it's on, baby. Once this Gorgol has a lot of HP, he's resistant to a lot of attack, so he will bring the thunder, he will bring the fights to them. So it's a real back and forth using the gargoyle, trying not to get hit, not to get crushed into the ultra weapon. The gargoyle slowly but surely is losing health and is dead. My friend doesn't see it, he gets caught into two spells and he's dead. It's time to leave, don't stay here, go to the next choke point, alright? An invasion is not a duel, you're not gonna prove anything by going to four people and get it blended away. I'm leaving, I need to go to a good choke point and right here. This roof with the two gargoyles is gonna be the beginning of the end for them. Right here I see they're not coming, pulling out the great bow, boom, boom, yes. Okay, 297 damage, okay, that's a lot of damage, it's like one quarter of the health and I didn't take any risk to get this damage and it makes them panic, they're like, oh shit, he's gonna shoot at us, we need to go. They are starting to hurry, they, they panic so much that they're going to commit suicide, yes, it's true, and they forgot their two other friends, alright, so I pull out the straight sword, starting to get some more damage, I know I need to go in and out really quickly, one guy is almost dead, he gets some heal, and the mage commits suicide, okay, but I don't know, I mean, you know, depression is a real, real thing, it's not a fake disease, um, he doesn't mash uh, circle, gets plunge attack, and it's on, one on one against this guy with his big, big weapon, you know, I want to play with that, and he's healing right in my face, like, what the fuck, dude, give me, respect me, I know you want, I know you want it, but give me some respect, and the shield, and I'm, I'm not even, you know, I don't even care about the king to post. so now we have two more guys to go, and I know exactly where they are, okay, somehow, they ended up in front of me, so I don't know how this is, this happened, but we found them right here. So in this place, not a lot to talk about, honestly. Um, you need to watch out, you need to know your exit. As the Master Saint Riot used to say, don't play the level behind your opponent, play the level in front of them. And god damn, that guy is fucking vitality out, look at that getting the repose but as I'm playing a lore character I don't have the Hornet Ring uh, so he survived 
but that's gonna be a good lesson for later. We know this guy is just gonna use his shield, but that shield is doing a lot of work. For some reason, his weapon doesn't do a lot of damage, so the scale down sometimes works a bit weird with Phantom. Sometimes they do huge damage, sometimes they do pitiful damage, so this guy's weapon is not doing a lot of, web of uh, damage. Right here I see they're a bit timid to come, you know, I, I need to encourage them, come on guys, you know, I, I tickle them a little to excite them a little bit to follow me, here I tickle them a little bit too much and they decide to back out, they don't want to face my, my three other gangbang friends. So I'm not sure why he pulled out this move right here, but you know, why not, he's, he's getting excited, you see, he's like, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, he's getting blasting everywhere. and. <laughs> It's plastic. Yeah, nice parry, bro. <laughs> okay, see he's pulling out the chill. I'm trying to guard break. And here, I do a big mistake that almost cost me to lose. I'm starting to be behind them. Uh, I need to go back in front of them. I need to play the level in front of them. Okay, so I'm switching to the Lorian Grey Sword because I know if I get a repost, I'm gonna be able to do much more damage with the Lorian Sword. Here, look at the stamina. It took many hits with the shield and then he's able to swing four times that big hammer I mean what the fuck man what the fuck here I see he, the host starts to leave and I'm really scared that he's going to summon his friend again goofy backstab thank you goof again hopla bad uh, bad jump I should have been able to get that plunge attack and I see the host is not dying so I know he's, you know, he's close to the end that shield I mean Lorian holy sword very bad straight sword and the laser beam is nice uh, having it for the lore is cool but the damage look at that 200 damage with two hit if i had a uh, dark infused long sword maybe that was like 300 maybe 400 damage so look at that shield that shield is holding up pretty tight huh very good um, our friend left us and i'm thinking okay i'm gonna take the the stairs to jump and our good friend torco scarab makes his last entrance into this beautiful beautiful movie and sorry man at this point i'm just ignoring the guy i hear him healing so i know he's on the top of the roof i'm mashing circle in order to roll and not getting crushed by his plunge attack and i'm going for the host hopefully he's not gonna be able to resummon but i have my hopes way too high so yeah there we go summon another phantom so i know now we're gonna have two other guys coming with full estus and full spells so it's gonna be very different and I hope my friend this time is not gonna die summoning another phantom so that's it but this guy right here with the big hammer he's close to die he's really close to die and I, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping we're gonna get him one guy comes out it's evil mage who commits suicide he got off of his depression and he's ready to you know to, to get to work again it's getting very chaotic everywhere we have another phantom just arrived devil christian is back back from hell because he was being a mean christian and he just went to hell uh, my friend turquoise he went on the left he's going to get spammed to death don't point me with your dirty finger you touch your ass with it you throw poop on me earlier yeah that's right that's right you know you know you're gonna die again my friend turquoise is not gonna last really long with all these people spamming him he just died rip and it's time to go to the other choke point. I know exactly where they are. They still need to go through Daughter of Crystal, Lionheart, Albert, and Onukiri guy. And look who's back. Uh, our good friend Torquois, he died and he resuscitates again to save me. I actually sent him a message. I said, look man, stop dying and meet me up the stairs. We need to kill them this time. So I they are coming from everywhere coming from the left coming from the right our good friend dragon slayer turned himself into a parry king we know we're gonna have some sweet backstab later here look at that 726 damage he almost get killed again he hasn't learned now don't go into that's that's why people say invasions are hard in dark souls because people try to go on a 4v1 and they try to run to them but as an invader you are part of the level you're here to make the game harder for people who want to make it easy for them that's your job whether you win or you lose you need to play with the level if you don't want to play with the level 
then you need to go to gang city if you're invading gang city you don't really play with the level you're gonna have three four v one and look turquoise carab just died again what what time it is it's meal wood bow time baby the meal wood bow the bow zooka like master scient would say um right here just just Blast them, 190 here, 200 there, they are starting to panic, they know what's coming for them. You just need to blast those arrows, you almost, you know, everybody starts to play Red Dead Redemption. Maybe it's time to play a, a shooter game, you know, let's let's get done with Dark Souls and let's all turn ourselves into shooting FPS guy. But you, know, you see the power, you get my point, the power of the Millwood bow, you're just going to blast again and again and right here I made them use maybe two three as this look he starts to he turns he decide okay um, all my strategy hasn't worked so far so now I'm going to parry um, okay uh, sure let's go uh, for some reason I'm poising through this uh, attack I don't know why uh, maybe some lag maybe some bug but this guy is not gonna last really long and you know what I need to give it to them these guys bring out a good fight. They were not mean, they were not um, uh, pointing down or whatever. They were generally playing through the game. They were not trying to gank, so props to them. And everybody's hating on ganker like, oh, I'm not a ganker, I don't want to gank. But this game is made to gank also, you know, like it's made if there is no ganker, there is no challenge. Like if it was a solo host, I would have won for a long time now. But I, I'm happy these guys are here. This, you look, you see that it almost took out all of my health with two hits. So I need to watch out for him. I'm starting to get low, two esters down. It's gonna get really difficult to win. But I know the host is gonna die. The host, I, I was expecting him to disconnect honestly, because even if they kill me, they're not gonna be able to to kill the um, to kill uh, Lothric and Lorian with that much uh, health. Get back to the midwood bow, getting some damage here and there. The mage was able to dodge it on reaction. Now in the chaos, cannot dodge shit. He gets hit. These guys get hit, everybody gets hit. The the power of the bozooka. But the host, you know, is, is not hiding. He's still in the battle, even though he's almost there. Look at that, he's just one hit and he's done and he's out one more hit and at this point it felt like I was uh, playing against Rom for Bloodborne so basically for those who don't know Rom is a boss in Bloodborne it's a big big spider and she's surrounded by many spiders but in order to hit Rom you need to dodge all the little spiders so th those guys were not very good PvP -er, but they were really good cooper. You know, you see the formation, how they are protecting the host. Always someone in front to attack the enemy, someone behind to protect the host. Right here, they see me coming, and they are gonna come back to protect the host. What a great team job! Good job, guys. I mean, that was that was that was something. That invasion. This guy, especially the Dragon Slayer boy, props to you, my friend. But as they have reformed their formation, I need to go, I need to get out. Uh, getting crushed by the Dragon Slayer Axe right here almost gets me, but I'm gonna get some support for the Lothric Knight. So now I have three more Lothric Knights with me. It's not much, but it's still something. This area, it's good when you're fighting people who are already uh, weakened, when you have milked them, but when you start an invasion here and they all have their full estus, it's a really hard area to win in. The mage is gonna spam his, his crystal so spear as he's been doing for the past 30 minutes. Uh, yeah, need to dodge, need to watch out. I'm looking for an opening here. I think I saw one, but the Dragon Slayer boy is getting in front to prevent me from going to the host. They know that if I if he gets hit once, they are losing this invasion. Look at that, the formation is almost perfect, but there is a hole in it. There is a hole, you just need to wait for it, to, to find it. But I'm, I'm impressed, I'm really impressed by these gankers. They did an awesome job. And here, I have, I have him by myself, getting hit, almost getting killed. I'm thinking, fuck it, I'm pulling out the, the Divine Blessing. Please, Rosaria, Mother of the Forlorn. No, that's not really what they say. But still, uh, thank you, Guinever Rosaria, for giving me some, some of your, your sweet, sweet juice. And 
I need to find, you know, I need to find where, where is the opening going to come from. Is it going to come from the enemy? Is it going to come from them to make a mistake? But someone is going to make a mistake one moment or another. At this point, I really wanted to leave this invasion. I'm mad of Estes, zero Estes. I see the host, I know one more hit and he's dead, but he's being the avoiding king and BOOM! Lothric Knight. You did amazing, MVP of this invasion, uh, Millwood Great Bow and Lothric Knight. 10098 City just died, the host right here, he did something that he shouldn't have done, he starts to panic, he starts to panic, he's like what the fuck, I lost the phantom, no 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 no, he's going to run back to the elevator, our good friend has a hyper armor weapon, he takes too long to hit and to recover. I'm next to the host, switching to the spear, he gets into the elevator, no one follows us, roll catch, and it's over. GG to everyone who played in this invasion, that was fucking awesome, and thank you guys for watching, I s and if you stick till the end of that video, GG to you, big kiss, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me, and love you all, peace.